make a remedy that will help to clear pigmentation on the skin, but it will also help to tighten and firm the skin. This remedy contains vitamin A, vitamin C. This remedy also will help to clear dark on the eye circles. It will help to even brighten that neck. It's just a versatile remedy that you can use on the skin to get clear skin, bright skin, and a more healthier, naturally glowing skin. So if you're interested in this recipe, continue watching. And at the end so the first thing that I'm going to do, I'm going to take a medium-sized banana. And you want to make sure that the banana is ripe. This one is perfect. You don't want it to be on the greener side. The riper it's better, especially when you're trying to get rid of hyperpigmentation on the skin. Banana will lighten, brighten, and also hydrates the skin. So I'm going to use about a half of a medium ripe banana. And I'm going to be blending, so we are going to remove the outer peel of the banana. Remember that the outer peel is also great for warts and mold on the skin. Next, I'm going to chop it in small pieces, adding this to the blender. And now we are going to move on to my next ingredient. Now here I have some coffee beans and these are rich in antioxidant that will help to reduce wrinkles and fine lines on the skin. Coffee helps to boost collagen production, boost circulation and keep your skin looking fresh with a natural radiant glow. For this recipe I do not suggest that you use instant coffee just use a little leftover from your regular morning brew. I also suggest that you use unflavored coffee for this recipe. Now here I already have my freshly brewed coffee and you want to make sure that this is cooled you're not going to be using this art. So take your coffee and reach back for that blender with your banana And now I'm going to use about three teaspoons of the coffee and I'm adding this to the blender with the banana. And what I'm going to do next, I'm going to be blending. Before I blend, however, I'm going to reach for some coconut oil and coconut oil is actually one of the better oil to use to remove pigmentation on the skin. It is also a humectant therefore it locks the moisture in the skin, hydrates the skin and keep your skin soft and supple. Using coconut oil mixed with banana on the skin will help your skin to look younger and fresher and give your skin a natural glow. I'm gonna be using a teaspoon of the coconut oil. You can choose to use other oils such as olive oil or even some soybean oil in this recipe. Now let's reach for some rose water and rose water up to balance the natural pH level of the skin. I trace the skin and can also be used as a facial toner. I'm gonna to use about a teaspoon of the rose water. If you do not have rose water you can choose to leave it out or you can even choose to use a bit of a green tea in this recipe now that we have all our ingredient we have banana we have coffee we have coconut oil and rose water we are gonna blend to a creamy consistency Now, if you're looking for a stronger anti-aging facial mask, go ahead and use a bit of a rose hip seed oil in the recipe. And now let's blend. Now take a look after blending. This is what it looks like. And let me just pour this out for you to see. And now take a look, here we have our banana facial mask. Store this in the refrigerator and use it up within seven days. Now to use your facial mask, you want to apply it to clean skin. So you are going to wash your face and if you have not exfoliate for a while, go ahead and exfoliate the skin. That way this mask will absorb in the skin much better and give you a better result once used 
on a regular. So you're going to take about a teaspoon of the mask and you're going to apply it on your face. This is good to apply on your face, your neck and your deck load day. Today I'm just going to apply it on half a side of my face and I like to just rub it on my face using my hands. However, you can choose to use a brush to apply this. This is also safe to use under your eyes. So apply it on your face, neck and decollete, and then you're gonna let it sit on your skin for at least 30 minutes. After 30 minutes, you are gonna rinse off preferably with some cold water. If you have more time, go ahead and wear it a little longer on the skin. This is a mask that is safe to use every day, but at least two to three times per week on the skin for best result. Just take a look at how lifted and how hydrated my skin is looking just from one application. Go ahead, whip this up and use it on the skin. Give it time to work on the skin. For the very first week you're using in this use it at least three times for that week and after that you can cut down to two times a week once you use it on a regular you're on your way to clear looking skin clean looking skin fresh looking skin and also a more healthier looking skin